here in Nairobi, a crisis looms. Uh, uh, should Governor Mike Mbuvi Sonko find himself behind bars and barred from accessing his office, should a precedent that has befallen two of his colleagues catch him? Sonko leads a county without a deputy governor and with an embattled county assembly speaker who has not steered assembly operations for a year now. Sam Getoko reports of a predicament that could ground the capital city to a halt. <laughs> For hours Friday, Governor Mike Sonko was said to be holed up in meetings with his strategists looking for solutions to his latest headache, a 5.8 billion tax debt that could lead to prosecution of key county officials. That and the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, which questioned him about garbage tenders and a 20 million shillings deposit in his account. Sonko reported to be mulling the pros and cons of appointing a deputy governor nominee who would step in should he find himself charged and barred from accessing his office. Governor Fanna Waititu of Kiambu and Moses Leno Kulal of Samburu have been out of office for months now. Their deputies running county operations as acting governors. Article 182 of the Constitution, sub Article 4 provides that, quote, if a vacancy occurs in the office of county governor and that of deputy county governor, or if the deputy county governor is unable to act, the Speaker of the County Assembly shall act as county governor. End of quote. Should Governor Sonko be barred from accessing his office before nominating a deputy and having him or her approved by the Assembly for formal appointment, questions would arise over the Speaker to act as governor. <laughs> Nairobi Speaker Beatrice Alachi was ousted from office on the 6th of September 2018. It's been one year. And even though the Employment and Labor Relations Court reinstated her in May, she has not presided a sitting of the Assembly. <coughs> Would she then ascend to the position of acting governor given the hostile situation she finds herself in after being impeached by a majority of Nairobi MCAs and reinstated by the court? <laughs> Even then, Sabbatical 5 of Article 182 of the Constitution provides that in an instance of a vacancy occurring of a governor and his or her deputy, an election to the office of county governor shall be held within 60 days after the Speaker assumes office. But the Speaker's ascension in Sonko's case would not be out of vacancy but inability to act caused by a court process. In the event that Governor Sonko picks a deputy governor nominee and submits the name to the assembly, a committee chaired by the speaker would have to be constituted to vet the nominee. Question is, would the assembly allow Speaker Elachi to constitute that panel? If not, would the acting speaker Shige Maura chair such a panel given the cause for his election as acting speaker has since been quashed by the courts? City County. Governor Sonko has been without a deputy for 19 months now. At least two false stats have been reported, having nominated hardliner Miguna Miguna, who at the time was facing deportation. Miguna was rejected by Elachi as not being a Jubilee member as per procedure. Thereafter, Sonko reneged on a promise to announce a nominee to allow for consultations. Consultations continue. The delicacy of the Nairobi City Council leadership raises the stakes for a county that has known little peace over the past two years with wrangles reported within the executive and the assembly and sometimes both at each other. Any alteration of the current leadership structure would expose the county to serious ramifications going into the future. Sam Gitukusu TV, Nairobi.